The first phase of the 2nd Avenue subway opened in 2017. The expansion had been proposed as far back as 1919, but only now is it being built. 100 years later, it still faces constant setbacks. Why? In order to explain why this expansion took so long, we have to go back to the project's inception, 1919. Daniel L. Turner, an engineer at the New York State Public Service Commission, released a paper detailing all the subway improvements needed after the influx of new passengers during and after World War I. Among the plans were an expansion to the modern-day N train to regions of Queens such as College Point, an extension of the current 2 and 5 trains south to Voorhees Avenue in Brooklyn, and the 2nd Avenue subway. The subway was planned to run from Pine Street in Lower Manhattan to Baychester Avenue in the North Bronx and East Tremont Avenue in the East Bronx. The plans were revised in 1927 and approved for construction in 1929. However, despite being approved, events in 1929 prevented funding for such a massive project like this one. The estimated cost of the project was $4.3 billion in today's money, which is a lot to ask for from a depression-ridden city. Ten years after the project had been given the go-ahead, it was postponed indefinitely. And with the U.S.'s entry into the Second World War in 1941, they prevented all but the most necessary public works project from being approved and built. However, the overcrowding problem on the east side of Manhattan was becoming a problem that needed to be addressed. The closure of the 2nd Avenue elevated line in the 40s only exacerbated the overcrowding. Congestion on the overburdened Lexington Avenue line, or the modern-day 4, 5, and 6 trains, led to another proposal being put forward in 1947. But is as always the case, Financial troubles and inflation led to the proposal never being built. In the 50s, the 3rd Avenue elevated line closed for good, leading to even more overcrowding, as now the Lexington Avenue line was the only train line in the east side. In 1967, voters approved a new plan to revitalize the MTA, which included a 2nd Avenue subway. $2.5 billion was approved to fund the Program for Action, as they called it. $254 million of the $2.5 billion was set aside for the 2nd Avenue subway. In 1972, the ground was broken for construction to, at last, begin. However, just three years later, the city was in dire financial straits, with money reserves died, drying up, ridership down, and economic stagnation, the city was at its lowest point. In 1975, construction was halted. In 1978, the state controller stated that the city had no intention nor the resources to complete the 2nd Avenue subway. But the city, as it always does, recovers. In the 90s, with a budget surplus and money to spare, exploration into the possibility of the proposed line began once more. By 2000, the MTA board had approved a new budget that included funding for the 2nd Avenue subway. With construction starting in 2007, multiple delays, which could be a whole other video, plagued the line. First, it was projected to open in 2012 to coincide with the New York City Olympic bid. Then, it was pushed back to 2013. Then, 2014, 2015, 2016 until finally opening on January 1st. 2017. The first phase finally opened 10 years after construction first started and 98 years since the original idea of a subway line running under the 2nd Avenue was created. Three years after the first phase opened, the second phase, which will run from the current terminus at 96th Street to meet the 4, 5, and 6 at 125th Street, is yet to open, scheduled for 2027. And the third and fourth phase, well, we'll see.